Hello, I'm Emily Spaven and this is your Week in Tech. This week we're filming from the new office of video ad tech company Unruly. In UK investment news this week, London-based PropTech startup Nested raised a further £8 million in funding in a round led by Passion Capital. Pulmaside, a biotech firm run by former GlaxoSmithKline scientists, closed a $30.4 million Series B. The funding came from Johnson & Johnson's venture capital arm SV Life Sciences. LV, a startup developing smart health devices for women, raised $6 million in a round led by Octopus Ventures. Female-focused VC Albright also participated in the round. Belfast-based Brainwave Bank secured over £1 million in seed funding from investors including the Angel Co-Fund and Techstart NI. Innovate UK and Invest Northern Ireland contributed to the round via their R&D schemes. Tech City UK released its latest Tech Nation report, giving an overview of the UK's technology sector. The report revealed that in 2016, UK tech companies received £6.8 billion in investment, which was more than their counterparts in France, Germany, the Netherlands and Denmark combined. We'll be joining Tech City UK on their Tech Nation tour over the coming weeks, so check out our website for more coverage and regional tech analysis. Octopus Ventures has raised a £120 million tech investment fund to continue supporting AI startups in the UK. The VC has so far invested in 50 companies across many different verticals, with its portfolio including the likes of SwiftKey, Magic Pony and Zoopla. YouTube has experienced some issues this week. Several big advertisers have yanked their ads from the video platform in recent days. This is in response to revelations about the risk of ads being placed next to extremist or inappropriate video content. YouTube owner Google said it's now broadening its definition of inappropriate content. Our download of the week is Ring 4. Currently available on iOS, the app enables users to create a second phone number for example, if they want a separate business line or a temporary number to use on Gumtree or Tinder. And finally, a father and son have hacked their car to turn it into a giant Mario Kart 64 controller. The tech enthusiasts connected a Raspberry Pi to their Chevy Volt and now the headlight controls make Mario jump while the windscreen wiper controller makes him throw objects. That's all for this episode of The Week in Tech. For more top tech news, subscribe for our newsletter and follow us on Twitter.